Welcome everyone to my pottery studio located in Dallas, Texas. If you are a ceramic artist, you probably have discovered, oh my gosh, what do I do with all my extra clay? I'm about to help you out with that today. I'm gonna show you my recycle process, something that you can do right inside your own studio and let's get to it. So you're gonna need a drill mixer right here and you're gonna need a bucket of clay you wanna recycle. This is a five gallon bucket. I like to do it every five gallon bucket so that I don't start getting one you know, five gallon buckets. And then I got two, three, four. Once this is ready, just freaking do it. Just do the recycling process. It's not that fun, but you are going to thank yourself later. The drill mix for probably a good five, 10 minutes. Let your clay soak for a week or two until it's mush and then drill mix it. So right here we have our plaster and I put it on some wheels so that we can roll it back out into the hot heat to dry. So now I'm just gonna take the, the clay from the bucket and put it on here. This is the messy process. So whenever you're spreading this out onto the plaster, just spread it out nice and even and make sure it's about two or three inches thick. You, you can go thicker than that. It's just gonna take a little bit longer and just let it soak over the next day. Maybe cover with plastic overnight. Da, 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 da. What the heck has he got there? This is what all the trimmings turned into. So I usually try to peel from the outside. It should just come right up. Just triple check for the plaster. Make sure there's none on there. You do not want that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, just cut, you can see all the chunkies. So whenever you're getting your clay prepped for the wedging, I usually slam it on the table but I don't have too strong of a table here, so I'm just kind of avoiding that. And I'm gonna cut it in half and wedge these two pieces probably about 40 times, and then they're gonna sit and dry out in open air and then be wedged again in a couple of hours until they're the desired firmness. As you can see, it's already starting to get a little more, more consistent, and this one's pretty close. And then after that, you're really good to go. All right, y'all, so I just wanted to show you a little bit of throwing here just so we can learn a little bit more. I grab about two fingers worth of clay at the top of the hump, and that's kind of how I use it the, to gauge how much clay I need. I use my fingers. Here I'm going into the pot, making kind of a V shape, and here I'm going out and expanding the width at the bottom. And here I'm going in for the first pull, as you can see at the top of each pole, like I let off kind of slow. So we're going up and then watch I let off. I kind of pause, you can kind of see that pause. And that's so that whenever I let off, the clay is even. If you don't do that step, it can get quite wonky pretty quickly. So you just want to be careful of that. And right here I'm marking where the bottom of the wine goblet like where the liquid's gonna be so that I can push the clay down right here and you can see where I'm gonna be able to trim a foot. Remember to keep your back fingers on there to keep that support whenever you push all that down because it's gonna wanna pancake out. So right here is where the foot is gonna be. That is all solid clay, so later it's gonna be trimmed. I'm gonna make a whole separate video on this, so definitely keep an eye out for that. And this is the metal rib, and I use this to clean up the edge. You can see how I let off easy on everything. Like, it, it, you have to do that. I can't express enough how much you have to let off easy. That's it. You gotta, and when I say let off easy, just let it make a few laps. So, so you can see uh, there's a chunk of clay spinning around right there. If you want to get that out, you have to go keep wedging your recycled clay. 
this does happen every once in a while it only happened once on this so i wasn't too worried about it but if i had gotten it like every single time i tried to throw i would have took it i would have took this clay off the wheel and went and wedged it some more so uh, have fun recycling it's, it feels really good to make a pot out of something that you recycled it's kind of like a sense of accomplishment so definitely give this a shot because you are going to enjoy it.